Welcome to Didactics Online. This is Bryn Parker with Rob Kawa. We're going to be discussing the provocative maneuvers for carpal tunnel syndrome. We're going to be going over Tunnels, Phalens, Reverse Phalens, the hand raise test, as well as manual carpal compression. We're going to start off with Tunnels test. For Tunnels test for the carpal tunnel, you're going to extend the wrist and palpate strongly over the transverse carpal ligament just proximal to that wrist. It'll look like this. A positive Tunnel sign will be pain or paresthesias reproduced in the median nerve distribution. Tunnels can also be performed in some other areas like the pronator teres in the ulnar groove as well as for tarsal tunnel syndrome. To move on to Fallon's test, you can have Fallon's test, I'll have Rob demonstrate it, with flexion of the wrist as well as raising the elbows and holding this for over a minute. Reverse Fallon's or otherwise known as prayer sign will be just the opposite with extension of the wrist. This will apply compression and stress on the median nerve and a positive test will be pain or paresthesias in that same median nerve distribution. Phelan's test is a little bit more sensitive and specific than Tunnell's, but neither one of them has great numbers when it comes to that. Phelan's test is, however, correlated to carpal tunnel syndrome severity. One of those things showing that is that Phelan's positive in less than 30, 30 seconds is actually a poor predictor of surgical outcome when you're talking about carpal tunnel um, surgery. Moving on to manual carpal compression, It'll just be direct pressure over that carpal tunnel. Again, positive sign being pain or paresthesias in the same median nerve distribution. Hand elevation test will be raising the hand for over a minute with pain or paresthesias reproduced while the hand is above the head. This is also something that can be a sign of thoracic outlet syndrome or even double crush. Thanks for joining us. Please comment or question on adapticsonline.com.